Kia ora and and welcome to another session of WeChat. Once again, thank you to Indigo Studios for having us here at this beautiful studio. Thank you, Pat, <laughs> and his team over here. Um, today, we're going to just talk about managing the, those signs of burnout. I know, as especially around for us accountants, around this season, you, you get, tend to be working such long hours. And so, you know, it's really key that we do manage the those signs of that burnout, um, especially for our key staff and also ourselves as business owners. So, you know, that's what we're going to be talking about today. So hopefully we can give you some practical solutions and to help to overcome some of those challenges that are involved. Mm. I think um, too often, and I, I, I've, yeah. I've done this often. Yes, she has. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I've, I've gotten to the stage where I've just hit the wall. Mm. And, um, you know, and then you're out for, you know, a good couple of days yeah. or you get breast cancer or whatever, you know. So, yes, you know, um, yes. I think that um, if you can recognize the signs early mm. and actually do something about it, then you can stop yourself getting to the point of exha- exhaustion mm. or, or stress. And, and what we've seen is that when you get to that stage, um, one of a number of things happen, but sometimes obviously your own health deteriorates and you get to the point where you can't really do anything. Yeah. Um, but then also what can happen is your customer service um, and yeah. the delivery of your service and you know maintaining your integrity can also um, be affected. And so mm. if you can manage those signs and do something about it earlier, yeah. then um, you know for your client and for yourself, you can ensure that you know you don't get that far. Yeah, and I, and I guess if you manage those signs, then if we take it from a, an accounting perspective, right? The cost, if you know you're going to start to burn out, at least you can put, um, I get a plan in place, and it does it does cost the business in the long run as well. You know, you end up taking, you know, once you reach that burnt stage, then you're you're taking a lot more time out. It affects the whole productivity. So you know, it, it is really key around planning that and recognizing those signs is really important. Mm. So some of those signs, uh, you know, like sometimes it just starts with being tired, yeah. tired, headaches, lack of concentration. Mm. Um, sometimes for me, it's like I can't even remember the conversation I've just had with someone else wow. because my mind is just so busy mm. and I'm just thinking about too many other things. Yeah. Um, not being able to plan ahead, um, you know, forgetting about things that you've promised other yeah. people to do. Um, you know, I guess those are some of the sides. Irritability. Yeah. When I'm biting your head off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I was wondering what it was. <laughs> hey, it doesn't happen often. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I totally understand. You know, we, I'm the same as well. You, you understand that when you now I'm feeling tired, I can't even see what's happening on the screens. You, you know you're, you're reaching that point. So it's, it's just really understanding those signs that are critical to yourself as a business owner. Mm. I think sometimes, you know, for me, um, you know, I've thought about it, why why I can recognize the sign, but then I'm still not doing anything, ba- anything about it. And I've been thinking, you know, why is that? And for me, it's because, you know, I'm so focused and driven to succeed in business or to, to deliver on, on a promise or on a, on a service or, or something along those lines that um, I've kind of gone, oh, I'll just wait until this piece of work is done. I'll just wait until that next holiday that's in a month's time. (laughs) Or, you know, in a couple of weeks' time, I'll be able to take a break. And then what I found, though, is that something else always comes up. And if you drag it out too long, then, um, you know, it doesn't work. So, you know, I think that, you know, just remembering that just taking an hour or a couple of hours when you need to, to have that rest, or you know, whether it's meditation, whether it's yoga, mm. whether it's just sleeping in, whether it's taking a mental health day off, or whatever yeah. it is for you, um, just by taking that little bit of time now, means that you're gonna be able to do that mahi, you know, down the track. Yeah. Otherwise, you know, one, you're gonna get to your holiday, and yeah, you might have achieved what you needed to achieve, but then you spend your holiday oh, trying to that. recover mm. that you don't even enjoy the holiday, and, yeah. and I've done that too, I've been so exhausted that I've not even enjoyed the holiday and then um, you know it's kind of like well that was a bit of a waste of the time of my holiday you know (laughs) and then you get filled with resentment because you're like I've just spent a whole lot of money on this holiday so I think that you know just remembering that just taking that time and if you can schedule something into your daily practice where you can have that time to just sit reflect to um, you know to clear your mind and like I said you know yoga meditation breathing techniques you know those sorts of things are really good to help manage with some of that yeah um and i guess one of the other you know key components in any business is your staff 
you know our people are really important to us and yes as business owners we want to get the best out of them um, but we've also got to recognize the signs within our own staff you know see what's happening over the end uh, i know that one of the things that we're always asking our staff is to you know if you're feeling a bit overwhelmed let us know but i think a lot of our staff are just wanting to do the best for us so you know it's really important that as, as business owners that we recognize those signs about our staff and just maybe just taking the time to sit them down and actually understanding what's happening in their lives and you know, and that way we can actually understand that, that the burnout is there and then we can help manage that with them as well so sometimes yeah like you're saying they don't they don't want to um yeah. be a hindrance or they yeah. you know they want to do good by the by us and also by the client um and sometimes they don't really recognize that maybe what's going on personally for them or you know physically for them is actually having an impact on yeah. what they do and so um, i think that if as a business owner if we can recognize it for them and point it out to them and then allow the time for them to be able to do what they need to do uh, then, yeah. then you know, if they are not able to manage that themselves, then you know we can kind of, I guess, coach them or manage them through that, so yeah. that hopefully in the future they are able to. But at least then they've got some sort of solution yeah. in front of them, um, which is only going to be good for them and good for the team and good for the yeah. company. In the end, yeah. Definitely. You know, they always say, you know, that your staff are your key. You know, they will help you with that growth. So, you know, looking after your staff is, you know, is, it should be a component for any business owner. Um, and so we, we try to do our best uh, for our staff as well. Um, but yeah, those are just a few of the tips and tricks and I guess some of the challenges that we face as business owners with our staff as well. So, you know, um, if you've got any issues on, around that staff management, you know, recognizing those signs, you know, feel free to flick us an email and we're more than happy to talk to you about that as well. So until next time, Fast Report. Sure. Fast